Oh boy, I tell you, Star Wars just cannot catch a break. So their one shining bright light was, of course, The Mandalorian on uh, Disney+. Plus. And uh, yeah, its strength was in its simplicity, you know, this cowboy in space type story with, you know, little plot points seeded throughout it about the mystery of Baby Yoda and all that building into a larger story. And uh, that was all well and good. Well, apparently their star, Pedro Pascal, <laughs> quit filming Mandalorian uh, uh, halfway through production. So in the case of this, uh, quite a bit of the scenes for him could be uh, shot with uh, another uh, actor or in the suit, a body double, if you will, and his dialogue put in later uh, because he's always in the helmet. But that apparently appears to be what the problem was. He wanted more scenes with his helmet off. Now, they've established that Mandalorians can't... They're not supposed to take their helmets off in front of people. Uh, there was a way out of it in the first season because he was with an android, or droid, if you will, and it didn't matter, so he could take it off. Um, it does beg the question of what the deal was with Jango Fett, because he took it off all the time, you know, we saw him quite a bit. And uh, it, it could have been that he, he could have had it where he kept it on, but that his clones revealed what he looked like. <laughs> Uh, but uh, he was perhaps a rogue of Mandalorian, and uh, there might be a whole section of him like that who just, uh, they, they don't follow those rules or whatnot, and uh, that might be what that's about, and they're not so honorable, or uh, what have you. And uh, you could uh, weave through the plot where he, uh, the Mandalorian decides, the, you know, he's not believing in this anymore, they were distrust. Uh, untrustworthy or they betrayed him something along those lines and that uh, he starts doing that too so uh, i suppose they could have worked that out but they didn't want to apparently and he was upset about that he says that the suit was difficult to wear on set and all this a lot of complaints um but the the main thing obviously would be uh that he uh his face isn't seen. So uh, a lot of the, the credit you get for a role uh, and your bankability as an actor in the business is uh, you're associated with a brand that's successful, uh, but all you're ever going to see is that damn helmet. <laughs> so he's like, hey, can't there be more scenes? Uh, you know, with it out. And apparently uh, it got heated and it blew up and all this sort of stuff. Then he went over... Uh, the production's heads to Lucasfilm and wanting them to come in on his side. And there's already schisms with Lucasfilm, you know, the Kennedy section. And now there's the Favreau section, which is apparently has uh, George Lucas's blessing. And all that. So that was not a smart thing to do on his part. And it's like, I, I tell you, uh, the, the, I, was, I just recorded a, a video about Ray Fisher. And now we have uh, Pedro Pascal. Um, you got a good gig here, Mr. Pascal. I now I wasn't there. I don't know. Is that the full story? It's a rumor that was told to uh, Grace Randolph, and uh, but the idea of walking off a job. But apparently, it was mutual because they were so mad at each other uh, by both camps, and they worked around it. But one of the suspicions is that it may have even changed the plot of the series, where. Uh, they're introducing other characters and broadening the world of Mandalorian to go in. There's been rumors about even Luke Skywalker would show up, if not in this season, a later season of the show. And that, uh, of course, Ahsoka Tano has been cast and will be in it. Uh, so uh, that sort of thing where it, 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 it's going into other Star Wars stories that could probably lead to spinoffs and whatnot. Uh, but uh, who knows? Maybe they... <laughs> just replace him with someone else i you know i bring Bub bubba fett supposed to show up too so maybe it switches over to bubba fett <laughs> but you would call a bubba fett series bubba fett i would think but um there's ways around this if he's gonna be too much trouble like that yeah you could lose the role um and uh you know off they go uh Hey, maybe it could be the Cara Dune series because, boy, am I loving uh, Gina Garano these days. 
<laughs> that would be hilarious. But uh, yeah, so uh, it, it's one of these days where you, you it's it's hard to feel uh, too much in the camp of a star of a certain show um, when it seems like this dream job. I mean, I, there's frustrations in every job. I don't uh, think he didn't have any legitimate claims, but uh, to make that big of a fuss and to cause that kind of ruckus and damage the show when that damages a lot of jobs involved and all of that sort of thing and then play up the schism within the company and everything oh boy i don't know if that was such a great idea and uh, of course there again what was the real story we may never know until you know years later or what have you um but it it, it just comes across as sort of these pampered princes who uh, <laughs> want everything their way. And then they want, even if they get it, then the next day it's something else or something like that. It could be the case, or maybe he had some legitimate problems and they uh, were being a-holes to him. I, you know, but um, I don't know. But so uh, it, it's, like I said, the Star Wars just can't catch a break. The one shining uh, moment, the one success they've had after just a dismal uh, fan response to what they've done with the sequel trailer, which is going to take a long time to recover what they did there uh, to the brand of Star Wars. And then now you got this. It's just, you know, just can't catch a break. <laughs> so uh, hopefully it works out, but I... I in a way, depending on how you want to uh, weave your story and whatnot, and they could move on with another Mandalorian. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's just a guy in a suit, so <laughs> you might want to be careful there, uh, Mr. Pascal. And, of course, once you do something like this, uh, that gets around. That will follow you to other films and TV shows and whatnot, so, yeah, he's a guy, he's trouble, it's difficult to work with and all that sort of thing and can uh, be detrimental to uh, your production and, and that won't be good either. So, I... Poor Star Wars, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully they can uh, figure that out. All right. Thank you for watching and listening. So why not like and subscribe and check out that link description below. That'll take you to my mini stores and have plenty of goodies for you. You know, hats, mugs, stickers, posters, all that goody, goody stuff. Plus, you can head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Plus, you can also catch my podcast, Mr. Nelson Show, over at RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on my channel at BitChute. That's the Mr. Nelson channel on BitChute.com.